Good morning. Welcome to You Don't Know Jack, The Ride. You know, it's not just for breakfast anymore. How many of you are there? One player? Great. I'll keep you company. Is this your first time riding? That's what I thought. I'm so glad to see you back. I really am. You should be typing in your name. How gracious of you. Thanks. As you know, your buzzer is the key with the B on it. Again, welcome to the ride. And I'll see you at the bottom. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Episode of You Don't Know Jack is sponsored by the American Council for Assisted Suicide. Relax, we'll write the note for you. And now here's your host, Schmitty. All right, this is the game, and just to keep things hopping around here, why don't you take a shot of Geritol? Go ahead, it's on me. So, you ready to take a ride? Don't worry, we won't go over 35. Very nice, respectable. This one's called Old Fogies and Their New Tricks. Like it or not, it's question time. Say the oldest profession were practiced by the oldest member of Congress as of 1998. Who would get hauled into the station? Jesse Helms, John Glenn, Strom Thurmond, or Bob Dole? Senator Strom Thurmond from the beautiful state of South Carolina was, as of 1998, the oldest person to serve in the Senate. And I am in no way insinuating that the U.S. Senate is akin to a bunch of old hookers willing to put out for any lobbyist with a buck and a hard on. It's just not my style. All right, but hey, kind of looks like you know what you're doing. Here's your category. If I could turn back time, I'd still be an old coot. You know, one nice thing about growing older and retiring is you get more opportunity to travel. According to author Madeline Langle, traveling through time might create which sign of old age? Wrinkles, gray hair, memory loss, or liver spots? Better break out the oil of Olay. The Madeline Langle classic is called A Wrinkle in Time. Hit that buzzer. Up next, Knick Knack Paddywhack. Okay, as much as it pains me to do this, do you remember that song by the Knack? My Sharona? M -m -m my Sharona, yeah, that one. Well, if the Knack sang m -m -m my glaucoma, what symptom would they be lamenting? Misshapen eyes, excess pressure inside their eyes, constantly watering eyes, or a film over their corneas? I'm about to lose my sight, glaucoma. With glaucoma, the pressure inside the eye increases, damaging the optic nerve. My, 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 my eye, woo! Work that buzzer to ch- Bingo. Life's a bitch and then you die and get thrown in a grave. Oh, G-R-A-V-E, 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 -E. so have a real nice day, yo. All right, this is your grave. Remember to win the cash, buzz in when the first letter of the answer lights up. Collect all five letters and I'll give you the bonus. Let's do it. Gravestone writing. Epitaph. Oldster diet supplement for tired blood. Maritol. Oldest U.S. president ever. Ronnie. Blank and pains. Break you, baby. One more letter and the bonus is yours. Joint inflammation. Arthritis. Erection wounder drug. Shawing. You got it. Rave. That belongs to you. Check out your score there. Make sure everything's in order. And we're moving on. Buzz in. This category is giving your dog a bone, eh? 
Okay, so unless your parents hated you, you know the rhyme, Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to give her poor dog a bone, right? Well, if Old Mother Jones went to her cupboard, what could she most likely give her poor dog? Union flyers and picket signs? Music and keys to a bus? Oil paint and portraits of animals? Or fertility drugs and a shoe? Mother Jones was a very prominent American Union activist in the 1920s. Yeah, life is funny that way. One minute you're fetching your dog a bone, the next you're smashing in scab windshields with it. Buzz it. Coming at ya. I'm living off the government in Cincinnati. All right, we got over 3,000 bucks for a right answer here. You ready? Go. If Dr. Johnny Fever gets fired from WKRP and tries to join the AARP, what will he have to do? Retire from broadcasting, turn 50, run for public office, or die? The only requirement for joining the American Association of Retired Persons is that you're 50 years or older. Or wear your pants up to your nipples, which would be a good look for Johnny. Buzz in. It's not a speed bump, it's roadkill. Remember to buzz in on the item that correctly unites the pair on the screen. And pay attention to the right answers for the bonus round at the end. Now, we put the hammer down. Time frames of opportunity and Microsoft operating system. Where do these items intersect? Score. Pop first and trying to be's party. and Aladdin's Magic Transportation. Score! Abundant Crop and Electric Fun Car. Nixon Cruise Jeff Debate and Hell's Blank New York. search mechanism, and Lil Blake the good. Score. Strongman Charles, and I ran Blank Shrug. Now for the bonus. What do all of the correct answers have in common? Are they all old folks homes? Senior citizen discounts? Features of an RV? You got it! Nice, private. You must be a member of the Good Sam Club. Here's your current score. You feel good about that? Let's keep going. I want you to hit your buzz. There you go. Try this category. Who cares if it's lousy? It's free! Now, the fun part. Suppose during your next hotel stay, you receive a free incontinental breakfast. What would you be served? An irritable pancreas with hot maple syrup, an enlarged prostate stuffed with sausage, a lymph node with milk, or an out-of-control bladder with toast. A continental breakfast is a simple meal of toast or pastries with coffee or tea, and to be incontinent is to have a bladder you can't control. So, go easy on the coffee, and don't expect the toast to be very dry. Flap your butt. That'll work. Try this category. Murder she probably committed herself. Here's the question. If Jessica Fletcher from Murder, She Wrote, investigates a murder at Widow's Peak, what will the case involve? Investigating somebody's chest, prodding somebody's forehead, digging through someone's monobrow, or checking out somebody's butt? A widow's peak is that point at the top of some people's hairline. And a widow at peak performance is when Jessica solves another murder within an hour-long program. She's the greatest. Hit the buzzer for the value on this one. Oh, nice one.
Brace yourself, my friend. It's time for Dis or Dat. The category for this Dis or Dat question is these orthopedic shoes were made for walking. So I'm going to read off seven cities, all right? And for each one, you just got to tell me if it's a Florida retirement community or an Arizona retirement community. Cash in for each one you get right, and you lose some cash for each one you get wrong or don't get to. Now you only have 30 seconds to answer all seven points. Here we go. Sedona, Florida, Oregon. Naples, Glendale, Sun City, Fort Myers, Mesa, Leesburg. Hey, in case you didn't notice, that's a perfect score. Check out your score there, make sure everything's in order, and we're moving on. All right. Ka-ching, that's gonna count. Here's the category. This land is Dick Clark's land. Okay, back me up on this. Dick Clark has been around, like, forever, right? Well, then. If Dick Clark had actually been part of the famed Lewis and Clark expedition, what should he have called his popular dance program? Original 13 Colonies Bandstand, Gadsden Purchase Bandstand, Louisiana Purchase Bandstand, or The Last Frontier Bandstand? The Lewis and Clark expedition explored the Louisiana Purchase. And it turns out that President Jefferson paid for the Louisiana Purchase with his publisher's clearinghouse winnings. Work that buzzer to choose the amount. This one's called... I want to live with a cinnamon nurse. Okay, looks like uh, some sort of music hey, question here. Whoa, whoopsie, <laughs> sorry. Uh, forget it, it's too late now, old man. What do you want? Uh, well, uh, somebody said that some fella named Neil Young was looking for me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, he left you a note or something here. Oh, a note. Yeah, here it is, right here. It's addressed to old man. Oh. What's the matter? You look, uh... Well, he wants me to do something, you see, and, uh... Well, what? What is it? Oh. I can't. No. I right, forget I, it. Forget I can't. it. No. Maybe somebody else knows. What does Neil Young want old man to do? Look at his life. Keep on rocking in the free world. Keep searching for a heart of gold or not forget what the good book said. In his song Old Man, Neil Young wants old man to look at his life because apparently Neil Young is a lot like old man were. Well, Neil, old boy, that probably means you're going to have some trouble with the gallstones. Left me, Thanks a lot, trouble. old man. You can go now. You some rheumatiz when you get older. That's enough. And then your anus prolapses. Off with you! <laughs> Buzz in and lock up. Ready for a clue? Well, just remember, we're here to help. Lucky for you, because you're going to need all the help you can get. You missed just one! Can you imagine how exciting that would have been if somebody else were playing?
How many times has this happened to you? Daddy, what's the difference?